Hey guys, today we are leaving Arrowhead State Park, which is near Wichita Falls, Texas. And we're heading on to hopefully Monahan's State Park, I think it is. Um, it's about 335 miles. And since it's so cold, we're trying to get from hookup to hookup because it, that would just go through a ton of propane if we use that. So it, this park is only gonna be 15 bucks, which is even cheaper than a harvest host. So um, we're gonna try to make it that far on our journey today. It is cold. It is in the 30s right now but at least the sun is shining and it's not raining anymore. Yay! They really like using the uh, pipe gates here. I'm not sure why, but there's a whole lot of fence with pipe. I have much of that in Ohio. Alright guys, we just filled up on get on diesel and now we've made it to Route 20. We've got 88 miles to tonight's destination. There is nothing but oil dirt all out there drilling that whole big field. It's a lot of oil containment. Got some refineries. All right, guys, we are at Monahan State Park. This is in Monahan, Texas, and this is so cool of a state park. So you are in sand dunes here. So I'll flip you around so you can see how cool it is. That's our spot right there. You got a pull through, water and electric. We decided not to boondock tonight because it's gonna be like, what did I say, 27, 30? It's gonna be really cold, so we wanna make sure we had some really good uh, heat going. And uh, they have water too, so we can fill up whenever we need. We won't hook that up, of course, in the freezing, but. Um, we're gonna say two nights so we can check this place out tomorrow, do some sand duning, see what's out there. But we will walk around right now and like see over what the top else. Of that. I know it feels like the beach should be somewhere, doesn't it? Ryan's got his warm Ohio State cap on. It was a whopping 30s today. What did it say when we went to that town? 39? Woohoo! We left Ohio to escape this. Somehow it found us. <laughs> but there is a cold front going through everywhere. So it didn't matter what we drove because there was just going to be more cold. But such a cool place. Oh, look at this little Jeep. We saw this stopped somewhere. Do you remember? I remember that, uh, orange on top of the pink. They must have little puppers inside. <laughs> How cute is that? They got puppers outside. All right, look how cool this little tin is. It looks like it should be warm, right? Oh, right they do. Morning. They got little jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween. What is this, October 30th, I think today is? And that's our check layout. Push those glasses up. We went, what did we do, like 350 miles today, I think? It was a long day, so we always like to, well, a long day for us. So we always like to take day off. We're in no hurry. We're enjoying the journey 
there. Maybe we'll get our first good sunset. Yeah, oh yeah, I bet that might be good tonight. We'll have to come back around a little later. One here, wow. That's a cool little park. Take a walk down to the picnic area. She'd pull us all the way through these if she could. So it's going to be like freezing tonight. So this is one of the things we do. I don't know if you can see it, but Brian has a light bulb. He sticks in there. Keep it all warm. Hope. Hopefully. Okay, today we have another travel day. We just left Monaghan State Park and we are headed to Las Cruces. Um, we're going to try some dispersed camping maybe. Um, if we can't find a spot, we may go up to a state park or there's Craig Barrows and Walmarts available. So we'll see where we end up if we make it that far. I think we're the most elevation climb for this length of journey. Oh, that's a V for Van Horn. Cat's taking a break while we're having some lunch. She's sticking her paws and looking out the window. Or the door is all open. Looks like you gotta go through the inspection station. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's a long line. How rocky those are. No vegetation on those. Getting a little busier at the dispersed camping. So this is a trailhead to go hike those mountains. There's just us and the guy behind us. We got a few more people in this time. I have to say. Besides the occasional truck, this is a gorgeous spot. All right, so today we are headed out to White Sands National Park. We brought Maggie with us. Hopefully uh, she'll enjoy it too. And we'll take you while we explore. All right, we made it. White Sands National Park. We're gonna stop in the visitor center first. So they are very dog friendly here. I just asked and she said dogs can come in as long as they're on a six foot leash. So we're going to go check this out. I'm sure Maggie's going to try to get everyone to pet her. Okay. Nice. All right, so time to get my stamp for the day and my passport book. All 
voila, and then I'm gonna get the sticker that goes right above it. All right, so I'm getting a magnet for my fridge and the sticker for my passport. All right, so they got a little museum in the side of this. We're gonna go through real quick. Says the chips and dunes here are less than 10,000 years old. That's young in geological terms. Wow. So it's a gypsum sand. It's not just sand, so that's why it's a white. Talks about lizards and their skin being white, and that's what protects them. Basically talks about the animals. So they don't tell you there's another gift shop behind that first store. So there's lots of way cool stuff down there too. And this is where you get the sleds. Oh, it's back here in the kids' room. Right there. Okay, so this is the half mile playa trail. We're gonna get started with this one. I don't know if the camera can get it, but there are two jets right over there flying. So this is right next to the White Sands missile area where they do some missile testing. And they do close the road when that is, in, is going on. So check the website for that. This sign basically talks about how the water sits like one to two feet beneath the surface. And uh, that's how everything basically gets watered. And there's the basin for it. It does have markers, very easily to see, to follow. Of course, you need to make sure that you bring sunscreen and sunglasses and lots of water which you'll see I got my pack on and got my little doggy cup so as she gets tired we can give her water this talks about the seasons so the crust here is fluffy and when it's cool in December to March and when it's hot it's not and when it's stormy you'll see all the animals in there and when it's warm, later September through November, that's when it creates all the crystals that break down into the gypsum. So that's how the sand is made. It just keeps regenerating. You can see right now it's pretty crusty. This is a good angle for the basin that they're all talking about in all these signs. The Playa Trail goes around. This one just talks about before the desert and these dunes were here, and you could have seen lusher, wetter world. Talks about all the animals that were there. Finding all the footprints. All right, so that was a half mile on the Playa Trail. Pretty easy. Half mile is the total round trip. Um, flat, so if you have any issues, you can pretty easily get this one in. All right, now we're gonna do the dune boardwalk. This is a pretty easy walk. I just touched it and it's not hot, so I don't have to worry about Maggie's paws. We're really fortunate because we have weather today. It's just in the 60s. Sun's out, it's so beautiful. Alright, reach the end. This board talks about the yucca. Yucca? Are you sure? <laughs> 
how you can use the seeds, the flowers, and the leaves for all different uses. And this is some of the things down there. All right, so that is the end of the boardwalk trail. It's super nice and easy if you have any kind of handicap. It's very accessible, um, just a great option. All right, this is talking about, we are at the Dune Life Nature Trail. It's a one mile loop winding through the edge of the white sands where the dune life is abundant. Watch for tracks left by desert animals and it has two steep climbs. All right, so we're gonna go up into the dunes. Check it all out. These are cool, we're seeing these cactuses right here, how long I drive here. So far this is pretty packed down, so it's not too hard to walk on. We just wore our uh, kayaking shoes. I don't like getting seen in the sneakers, but you can worry about anything. Some of it's going to get deep here at the hill, but that's okay. Beautiful view on top of the hill. So we just found out these are yucca plants. is a cool part. Walking on the top of the hill. Picture at the top of the hill. See the parking area. We're gonna finish this little walk right back up. She's gonna sleep good tonight. Checking for mice, mm -hmm. squirrels, usually she's squirrel hunting. That wasn't too bad. So I decided to go barefoot for a little bit. I'm exfoliating. She has the cutest little butt we're going, she's tired. So that was the end. Pretty good trail, not too bad long wise, but what'd you think? There wasn't any water anymore. I know. No water. I expect the beach. <laughs> no beach at the end of the trail. So that says that was a one mile loop that takes one hour. So at one point the sand ends, or the pavement ends, and it's just sand. And if you look, they have to plow the sand just like snow. Isn't that funny? That makes me laugh. Those drifts totally remind me of snow in Ohio. <laughs> All right, we got a sled at the gift shop. And we're waxing her all up. Just like when we were kids. 
Please do use soap though. The more you got, usually the faster you went. Ryan's gonna try. The worst part is the climb. Huh, babe? <laughs> All right, we're ready for you. Oh, you're spinning. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> You're gonna do it again. Oop. Dig deep. <laughs> this makes you feel like a kid again. It's actually really pretty at the top. We'll have to go walk up there and take some video. He goes. Oh no, he's oh, honey. Oh, he fell over. This is on top of the hill we just slid. Somebody did that, that's pretty. I love all the little marks the wind makes in the sand. Everybody's just out there. Joanne. Oh, she's taking pictures. She's in a dress. There's more people out playing. Big picnic area. Look at all the grills, and picnic tables. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. So that is the end of this escapade, the park at least. We're gonna go uh, check out the local areas around and see what there is to see. But I recommend seeing this. It was really neat. It felt like you're in a different world in the desert. Did you like it? Yep. Head nod. Thank <laughs> you.